Hi there. <clears throat> Great to be Peter here. I want to show share with you a little project that I'm working on in Roblox, which is a uh, a game building block system that's free and uh, easy to understand. And I just want to show a little project that I'm working on. And I can tell you that I can teach any one of the kids in our family how to do this pretty quickly because it's so simple. But anyway, um, not to make this too long-winded, I'm going to play this. And there's my little green guy is going to spawn here. I'm going to back up. Now, you know, it's always important in games to pay attention to things and be curious. So look at these question marks. Probably should see what they do, but... And as much as I'm an impatient person, I'm just going to run through this fire. Oops. That was not good. All right, well, tell you what. Instead of running through the fire, I'll run over this red thing and see what happens. Whoops. Uh-oh. I seem to be in the beam, which means things are not, not going to be good. <laughs> Get all the little pieces flying around. All right, this time I'm going to be a smart player and run up to this and click on it and oh, jump over the fire. I get it. Why didn't I read that before? Over here, hmm, what does this say? Danger exit only. Ah, that was where I went wrong. So let's. Take a running start at this. If you if you hit shift, and of course you move around with W, D, A, and S. So W and shift is run. And jump is spacebar. And look, I teleported from the beam to the exit as intended. And of course this exit could be on the other side of the game. So, real simple little project uh, and not very difficult to set up. And it's the kind of thing that I think it might be useful for kids to learn. Anyway, um, I'll stop this and I'll also stop the recording.